on Sunday, January 3rd, and Chase and I are back down at the River Bottom Farm. We're making our first sit here since, I believe, November 29th. We were thinking back when we pulled up. The last time we were here, I think it was just shortly after Thanksgiving. We've had a great late season so far, and I wanted to get back in here and kind of see how things were looking, see if I can't get back on DAC. We got here a little bit late because I, uh, I finally got my new bow sight and I got it sighted in today. And uh, as, as I was sighting in, the, uh, I switched from a vertical pin slider to a three pin slider. And as I was sighting in the third pin, my um, peep serving came undone and my peep went flying into the snowbank. So I had to get over to the local uh, pro shop and get a peep tied back in and I needed to shoot it when we got here so it's been just one of those days and we hiked back in here we're in the pinch this place is iced over pretty well we have a uh, probably four to six inches of snow on the ground and then a thick layer of ice on top in my experience the deer don't really prefer that um, our deer numbers in here when this place gets iced over seem to it seems to go down they seem to leave get into some thicker winter cover, but um, we'll see. There's a few tracks coming through the pinch here. Maybe we'll get lucky and have some deer feed out of the uh, peninsula. My hope is, you know, we got this 100 acre peninsula, basically they're gonna feed out and head up to the Kudak fields and we'll cut them off right here. It's about 20 degrees tonight. Hopefully we get lucky. I'm not gonna be super picky. Dak or that six by five or uh, any new mature buck. Or, you know, if we get lucky, we'll see what happens. So Chase has been, I've been dragging Chase through the mud all year. He's been working really hard, uh, filming me and working for 41 North. And um, the few days he's had off, he's been running around on public land trying to catch up with a good buck. And when we were able, when we got back from Louisiana, he was able to finally catch up with one, one that he had encountered earlier. So I'll let him tell you guys a little bit about that experience. Yeah, I've been hunting hard on my days off. Um, and it took me a while to find a pretty good buck. But once I did, I had three or four encounters with him and uh, actually ended up running out of time. The uh, Iowa shotgun season came in and Mike and I headed down to Louisiana. And I knew that he was probably gonna get hunted during the shotgun season and didn't really have high hopes of getting back on him. Luck would have it though, uh, my dad came up for Christmas and uh, we made a sit and actually saw him and got in there the next day and was able to get it done. Uh, I was pumped. It's my biggest year ever. It was super exciting and I got to share that with my dad. He ended up being just right about 170. It was super cool to end up getting a deer that I'd had so many encounters with. Uh, the first encounter actually, I uh, had him at 40 yards with a bow and he ended up spooking off. But to get it done with my dad in a state that I'd just moved to was special for sure. Uh, the only sad thing about me killing the deer was I did not get it on film, um, which was a bummer seeing as I've been filming everything this year. And I can't thank Mike enough for showing me the ropes and giving me some tips to get on a big deer here in Iowa. That's a pretty awesome deer. Busted off a G3 and would have been a upper 170s buck. You know, just an old fighter, old monarch deer, long beams, great mass. And it's pretty cool. A couple of the guys have uh, been getting great deer down on public. As he mentioned, you know, he got in there um, at the end of bow season and almost got it done. Uh, just got this deer post rut back in a peninsula and we kind of figured that he'd be sitting there the rest of the year and if he made it through shotgun it'd be one that he could kill he was in a killable position i was glad it worked out yeah we just wanted to show you guys what chases buck and uh he's got a statewide tag and i've got a statewide uh, archery tag so hopefully we can get get a couple more down
down to our last minute or so and that's about the worst hunt we've had in a while. <laughs> I saw one doe off in the distance, either fawn or doe, I can't, couldn't quite tell. And uh, it was far enough away that uh, Chase wasn't able to get any footage of it. Uh, we had two juvenile bald eagles fly over, fighting over a dead squirrel, which that was kind of cool to see, but otherwise we're just sitting here freezing our tails off. Um, you know, we're, we're definitely short on food on this farm, so I may go explore the other side uh, tomorrow and, you know, and then maybe just switch back to my home farm if the deer really aren't in here anymore. They may have moved off to find food elsewhere, but uh, anyway, really slow sit. Tomorrow's another day. We'll see you guys.